Hello and good evening everyone. Um, you're welcome once again. This is um, Ake Fish. Welcome to my YouTube channel. Thank you for subscribing. Please pardon my attire. Um, we're on the farm and we've been on the farm all day. So um, the farm comes sometimes with these kind of times, all right? Um, it's not every time we'll be looking all posh and all the lights, all right? So yes, I wanted to tell you today five things to do to prepare your earthing pond, all right? So you can see this earthing pond behind you. You can see we are ready to put fish again, all right? So I was saying five things to do to prepare your eating pond. You can see that the eating pond beside me is just ready to bring in your fish. And I can tell you eating pond is one of the best environments for fish because it's like the natural environment is as close to the river as you will get it. So yes, we do tarpaulin ponds, we do concrete ponds, we do cages. I mean the cage in the river is also kind of like an eating pond, but the water volume and the richness of the water you get in an eating pond, you can't get it in anywhere else. So yes, eating pond is probably one of the best um, environments for fish. So yes, I was talking about preparing your eating pond and the thing is that most times um, there is usually fish in an eating pond. Don't worry, even if you think I did not put fish in, there is usually something living. As long as it is a body of water, there is usually something living in it. So the first thing is that you want to drain all your water, alright? So um, you want to drain all your water. So you can see that that's what we are doing in pond 2 here. So you can see that that's what we are doing in pond 2 here. You want to make sure you drain all your water to the end, alright? So when you drain it to the end, there is usually mud. There's usually mud at the bottom of the water. You want to demud your pond, all right? So I've told you, number one, you drain the water to the end, you demud the pond. Number three, you check for the wall integrity, all right? You check for the integrity of the pond. It shouldn't fall in. So you want to bag the ponds. If they are not bagged, you want to make sure the bags are there all around so that it keeps the wall shape. If not, sand will just be dropping into the wall and then you are losing the space you thought you had in your eating pond. Do you get that? Great. So um, after draining the ponds, demodding the ponds, um, you allow the water to come back up. Um, if you have a pipe that is a source of water, you want to cover it with maybe a net or a cap to make sure that nothing, no fish or whatever comes from anywhere into your pond. And then you can lime your ponds, all right? So liming your ponds is when you put um, this industrial lime. You get them from most of these people selling plumbing materials. And then you put industrial lime in the ponds to kind of correct the water pH of the pond. However, if you leave the water for at least one week, I was saying, however, if you leave the water for one week before you introduce fish, most times the water just corrects itself. Do you understand that? The water just corrects itself with the atmosphere and everything. So the water balances out if you're not in a hurry. However, if you're in a hurry, you can put industrial lime, as I explained, all right? And then some people use them, um, foxtocin. It's a, it's a, it's a, it's a, it's like an insecticide, all right? It's a poison. It kills everything inside the water. But what happens is that if you put foxtocin inside the water, and then it's supposed to kill everything, you are not supposed to pump out that water and allow fresh water coming again. Do you understand? So that elongates your farming cycle. So imagine you are taught you prepare your pond in one week and then you have to poison the water and then drain out that water and then allow fresh water coming again. You see that the days are elongated, all right? So um, you want to make sure that, so me, I personally don't use foxtocin, all right? I just demod my ponds. I remove all the fish that I can find and, you know, um, and then restock. However, it is tricky. You must make sure that you are very detailed as you guys removing the fish in your pond because what happens is even if it's just one, and you know catfish, if you are doing catfish, catfish can hide inside mud. So even if it's just one that is there and you introduce 1,500 fingerlings or 1,500 juveniles into your pond, that one will eat fish and that one will become very big. You know, by the time you are sorted, you will see it, it has eaten. It's probably one fish that was left there before. So it's usually very, you must be very careful to actually go through and look through your pond to make sure that, you know, it is, it is, it is fine and it is off fish. Now, after draining the water, demodding the ponds, removing every fish, letting the water come back and let the water stay so that it can, the pH can balance again, then you want to net your ponds, all right? So we do, we use like two types of nets correctly. We use um, the side net that you can see. Yes, um, so I wanted to show you the side nets that was mentioned. So we use the side net and then we also use the top net. All right, so I will show you the top net um, some other time. All right, so once you've got that, yes, you are ready to restock your fish in your eating pond. So once again, my name is Aki Fish. Um, I, will, I will carry you along most likely with the life cycle of the fish in this pond. All right, every three weeks, I will show you updates of what we have 
on the farm, what they are eating, when we are stocking and everything, every three weeks, I promise you that I'll show you up here so that you can follow me through to the end and then you also can have your farm. So hit the likes of button. If you want to ask me a question, please drop it in the comment section. I answer all the questions. You can check and see that I always respond to every question. And then do well to subscribe to my YouTube channel. Cheers. Happy farming for everyone.